you're looking at your lawn and you're thinking, I want the best lawn on the street. Well, guess what? We're going to get you there. Frank Ferragini here to help you. Stay on that for a second. Look at this fat boy. It's awesome. Lawn, right. Just so I can get one of these. Yeah, this so is this fun. is from Maria OB, and this here is a fantastic lawnmower. One of the first battery operated driving lawnmowers that lasts two hours. Uh, okay. Super quiet. Super, super quiet. Very if you want to just engage it again, there, turn it sure, on there. So that it's on And just now. go a little bit forward. You can't hear Nothing. anything. You can do this on a, early on a Saturday morning and no one's going to hate you. Stealth cutting. Yes. Stealth cutting. Really yes. important. And make sure you do it wearing these. Yeah. <laughs> The way, That's to do very it. Appropriate. the way to do it. Uh, environmentally friendly, and there's even a USB port on there, so you can plug your phone in. And what? it also has, what? listen to this, it also has cruise control. Oh. <laughs> Unbelievable. You're just like hanging out. You're just like sitting back going, Right? On your yeah. phone. Yeah, so take a look <laughs> Instagram. at Instagram. I want you to take a look at mower height on the side over there. What does it say? Okay. What's it says say? low. Low. So that's the one thing when it first comes to summer lawn maintenance. I want you to take that and try to put it up a little bit higher. You don't want to be low mowing your lawn low in the summer months. The reason for that is you'll scalp the lawn. And also what you want is a taller blade. The reason why you want a taller blade in the summer months is so it's going to shade the roots out for you. Keep that lawn a little bit cooler. Right. Shade out weed seeds. Really important during the summer to raise your blades up. This has okay. a mulching blade on it, which is really good. Also, when you're cutting your lawn, many people go in the same pattern all the time. Mm -hmm. Alternate that pattern. Why go in the opposite that? direction. That way you're going to have cuts on both sides of the blade. It'll improve the health oh. of the blade itself. Okay. Uh, blades must always be sharp. If you're mm -hmm. not using a sharp blade, there's going to be a lot of issues that come out there. Yeah. Summers are stressful on lawns. Most lawns in the summer during dry periods will turn a little bit of a brownish tone, and that's them trying to protect themselves. Okay. So let's say that you have a party coming up and yeah. you need it to go back green again. One thing you're going to have to do is making sure that you're watering. Yep. This here is uh, one of the, the oscillating sprinklers are not the most efficient. This is a rotary sprinkler that's going to be a little bit more efficient. We'll just Let me turn, turn that, that off. off. Here we go. Before no problem. I mow down the audience. No problem. <laughs> She's dangerous, I tell you. So this is a rotary sprinkler, watering in the morning, one inch of water per week. If you want to know how long it takes to put one inch on your lawn, mm -hmm. take a container, put it in the center of the lawn, turn your sprinkler on. As soon as it goes to about one inch in level, Measure that time. Yeah. That's how long you put your sprinklers on. Okay. Okay. All right. Because everybody has different water pressure that's out there. You want to make sure that you're not going too crazy with the water because we're 100%. all supposed to be conserving. So 100%. don't think that if you're blasting it all day and all night, you're going to get a better product. People are going to be mad at you, and it's terrible for the environment. Terrible for the environment. So water is one of our most important resources. Yeah. One inch per week. You don't want to be watering all the time because it actually weakens your lawn. Right. It actually weakens your lawn. Yeah. So that's really important. So watering is number one. A lot of times people forget about fertilizing. Yeah. Fertilizing in the summer months is going to improve the health of your lawn mm -hmm. uh, as well as it can help you green it up and make it a little bit more aggressive in terms of uh, some of the weeds out there. Remember that if weeds make contact with seed yeah. and during the uh, summer months your lawn's going to slow down in growth then weeds are going to start to take over by fertilizing, watering deeply and infrequently. That's the word you're going to hear and okay. watering in the morning. Super important. When uh, do you put the fertilizer down, like versus the cutting of the lawn versus the watering? Like question. what's the order? Good question. So best thing to do is you're going to do an early spring fertilizing, then you do a summer fertilizing. When yeah. should you do that? Uh, right after a cut or about a few days after a cut before a rain. Oh, okay. So you want that to kind of be watered in. Best really is on a day where it rained a little bit in the morning, go out there, do your fertilizing, mm -hmm. and then what you're going to do is rain later on. That is fantastic. That's perfect. And you want to use uh, some sort of a broadcast spreader. A lot of people have smaller prop properties now, so you can yeah. use a spreader like this. Uh, there is even the opportunity sometimes that you can even buy fertilizer now that already has an applicator, so you don't have to buy that other. Oh, that's awesome. So you can just go through. So that's for smaller properties. Yep. Um, and then finally, as you're going through your summer season, if you do see weeds start to take hold, yeah. identify what those weeds are. Uh -huh. And now with the cosmetic bans that are not only across Canada, but starting to go in the U.S. as well, a lot of times it's about hand removal. You're just getting out you there and removing by hand. And take, it's a good workout. And <laughs> it's, it is. You gotta like get the pot, like figure well, out something positive about the process. If you figure about you do a lunge. You can do that, right? And then you pull the weed. Pull. Right? Yes. And then you lunge and, and you, you pull, pull the weed. That's a good workout that right there. there. Fantastic. You got your glutes going, some biceps, some triceps. There you go. So it's raise good. your blade, put the water on, fertilize, yes. and do your lunges. And do your lunges. Weed. I wanna know how much lawn I need to have one of these. 
I have like no lawn at all, so you, this wouldn't work for you me. You actually, you don't need a lawn. You don't this, need a lawn. This is what you use to go to Tim Hortons. <laughs> <laughs> 